What do the lonely do for Christmas? What are we going to be doing for Christmas? Now, I'm lonely. I'm single. I'm divorced. Been married. Now, I'm single. Um, do I um, date? Uh, yeah, sure. Do I have a boyfriend? Well, kind of, no. So, <laughs> so what do we do when we are single, but we're not really truly lonely. We just don't have that person that we know we're going to snuggle with tonight. Okay, so let's get started. So hello and welcome to the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show as we do this Love Dr. Talk on Christmas Eve, and I'm talking to everyone, but mostly my singles and those who think they're alone or lonely. Whatever you think the position you're in, let's talk about it and let's say, get you out of your rut and know that it's okay. Okay? So keep sending me your comments. I like that. Um, I'm doing this talk about why you feel you're lonely because someone was asking the question. And so I said, okay, why not? Let's talk about it. When you're really, really not lonely, right? So you just don't have, what, a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? So let's talk about that. It's very simple to the point. This is not going to take a long conversation. It's not going to take that much to go right into it. It is just simple as what? When you are not in a relationship and when there is no one that you are in a relationship with, uh, no one that you believe is your mate or someone that you don't co consistently have a relationship with or go, you know, with all the time, you're so consider yourself to be lonely because that IE person may not uh, give you a gift or you may not see that person on Christmas Eve. You may not see the person on Christmas Day. So you're considered lonely, but you're not lonely. So what do we do when we, what do you say? Don't have that mate or don't have anyone. You don't have to worry about that. You, this is the time for you to go and treat yourself, treat yourself, um, to anything that you always wanted to do. It could be going to the movies. It could be going, you know, ice skating, roller skating, um, taking a walk. Do whatever you want to do. Take, Go to the spa. Do something for yourself. Treat yourself. You don't have to have someone to show you how much they love or care for you by giving you this so-called gift. You can give a gift to yourself. You know, you know, buy your own, buy you something you always wanted. A car. Uh, a tricket, a bracelet, a ring, earrings, buy something and treat yourself. And you'll feel great because what? You did it for yourself, right? Do a Christmas party. Have a Christmas party. There's a bunch of lingerie parties going on. And, and those who are following me know I got lingerie parties coming. My first one's going to be in February. So we're going to do lingerie parties. And that's what's going on. There's lingerie parties. Look them up. They're on the Evite. Look, look up what's going on. There's lingerie parties on Christmas Day. There was one um, yesterday. There'll be one, you know, Sunday. There are things to go do and have fun for yourself, okay? You can just take time right now, relax, be still, and write about what you really want to do in 2022. Get a glass of wine or get that uh, uh, detox water. Uh, get whatever is going to make you feel good and write down what you're looking to do, what you want to do, what you're thinking about, what is going on in your life that you want to change and do in 2022, right? The other thing, what about you? you everybody has a single friend. Right? Everybody knows somebody who's single. Everybody got a single friend. Call your single friend. Get with your single friend. And you guys do some things together. Play some games. Do some cards. Uh, uh, just have fun with a friend. Um, so this it's, it's many ways to do things with your friends when you get together. Get out of that humbug attitude and just do something that makes you feel good 
with your friend. It could be, you know, watching a binge or watching a movie together, you know, uh, playing a game, doing cards. Just find something to do to enjoy. Uh, teach uh, the friend how to cook. Uh, let them, you know, teach you. Just, you know, do things together. Also, why don't you just relax? Why don't you just relax and enjoy what you like, like music, uh, sports, movie binge, like I already said. Do things that makes you happy and enjoy. Because you got to remember, you're, you're actually not alone at all. And you're really not really lonely. You're just lonely for a moment. And you can change that by just treating yourself. Change what your mind think, what your heart feel, and direct it into a place of peace. What I say, peace and happiness. And then you don't really care about if you're with the person or with the other person. It doesn't matter. you like, whatever. You're enjoying self. Okay? So I hope that information I gave you helped you out, guys. You know, thank you for joining that quick conversation. But we're going to keep talking. If you, you know, send me some comments. I love it. Make sure you continue to like and subscribe. I, I told you I'm going to be coming with these beautiful lingerie that I have. Now, this is the holiday lingerie. And then I will be having other lingeries and you're ready to get for your mate because Valentine is coming up. Okay? So remember, if you're single, just know that the relationship you want to seek, it is a decision and it's just a moment. And when the time is right, you'll meet the person that's going to make you happy that you can enjoy. If you're already in a relationship, what I say, you got to make sure is what? About peace joy and happiness make sure right so thank you guys for joining me this is the love doctor thank you for joining me and we'll be back again talking about what love love love